This is David Osteen, pastor of Hope Bible Church in Jackson, Georgia, and I just want to make this short video to address a challenge that's been issued to me a number of times, and that is if I would just believe the King James Bible and study the issue on the shape of the earth, that if I were a real Bible believer and studied this matter, I would come to see that the King James Bible teaches the earth is flat. Now, there's been a resurgence of this old idea about a flat earth, and if you do some research, you'll find that um, the ones that got the ball rolling on it have been some new age weirdos, but yet, uh, and they were pushing this on the internet, but sadly, there have been some Bible-believing Christians that have gotten caught up in it, and uh, they have a list of verses that they use in which they're claiming uh, that the, the Bible teaches the earth is flat. Now, if you want to believe the earth is flat, that's your prerogative. I, I, I believe in soul liberty. I, I'm not trying to tell people what to believe. But my problem is this. When you're going online and you're going out publicly saying this is what the King James Bible says, you better be right. Because this is a serious issue. And I'll explain why in just a little bit. But this is a serious issue. And, um, you know, this idea that this is what the Word of God teaches and these people that uh, have challenged me on this, they always assume that I've never really studied the matter. And if I would just study the matter and look at the verses, and of course, they always send me links to um, videos of people doing some kind of experiments trying to show the earth is flat. But for every one of those videos, there are other videos showing by uh, experimentation that the earth is round. So the final authority is the word of God. And so people are trying to use the word of God to support this idea. Well, I believe the Bible. I'm a King James Bible believer. I've looked at every one of the verses that they use, which supposedly teaches what they're claiming, and I have found it's not the case. And uh, so, you know, they have accepted the idea for whatever reason, and now they're trying to read it into the Word of God, and then they're going out publicly saying this is what the Word of God teaches. Now, I'm a Bible believer, and if the Word of God taught that the earth was flat, I would preach it unashamedly. I'd be open and honest and upfront with people. I wouldn't play games about it like some people do. I, I would just come out and say it. But I've looked at it. I've looked at it with an open mind and an open heart because I'm a Bible believer. It's not what the Word of God teaches. It's just simply not. And so uh, the assumption's always made, you know, that you, you've never really looked at the issue. And if you would, well, I just want to make this video to hopefully put it into that Look, don't send me these emails. Don't contact me about this issue with the assumption that I've never looked at it, because I have. And uh, so I'm not going to make a long video refuting the flat earth, uh, uh, looking at all the verses, because I don't have the time to waste on that kind of thing. But I just want to make this brief video, and I thought I'd do it this way, because you know, you might say, well, you're a young preacher. What do you know? I mean, uh, you, you've just missed it. You haven't seen it yet. So Dr. Peter S. Ruckman, who died back in 2016, he was a King James Bible believer, if there ever was one, uh, the greatest defender of the King James Bible, um, and he preached and taught the King James Bible for over 60 years, and anybody that knew him knew that he had a brilliant mind. He's not the authority, the Bible's the authority. But uh, what did he have to say about it? Because if you're not going to, you know, take what I have to say seriously because I'm younger and what do I know? If you have that kind of attitude, let me quote to you from someone who at the end of his ministry, his crowning work was his reference Bible. He wrote many books, but his notes were compiled into a reference Bible. And this is, uh, this is kind of, uh, you know, his teaching in a condensed form in these, in these short notes it's what he believed at the end of his ministry after all those years. And there's some notes in his reference Bible that addresses this issue. So I thought I would share that with you, just in case you didn't know. Uh, because, uh, again, the challenge is made and the, and the claim is made that if you're a real Bible believer, then this is, what, this is what you'll believe. So in Isaiah chapter 40, verse number 22, the Word of God says, It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers. That stretches out the heavens as a curtain and spreads them out as a tent to dwell in. And I'll read his note in just a second. Let me just say that I've, I've heard it said by people who think the earth is flat that Isaiah 40, 22 is actually a, a verse that teaches that. Because they say circle of the earth, not ball. It's a circle. That's a flat disc. 
But if you look at what it's saying, it is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth. God Almighty looking down at the earth, the inhabitants are just as grasshoppers. He's looking down at the earth from the third heaven. It's a circle. So when you're looking, if I have a baseball on the floor right here and I'm looking down at it, I see a circle. But anyway, Isaiah 40, verse 22, the earth was revealed. Here's the note. The earth was revealed to be a round globe in 710 BC. Dr. Luke confirmed this in the first century AD when he wrote that there could be day and night on earth at the same time. Luke 17, verses 31, 34. Uh, that was 12 to 13 centuries before Columbus discovered America in A.D. 1492. So we'll go over to Luke 17, and his note in Luke 17 says this, Jesus told you the world was round long before Columbus or Magellan set sail. See Isaiah 40, verse 22. Verses 31 and 34 tell you that when the Lord returns, it'll be day and night at the same time. Daytime on one side of the earth, nighttime on the other. The book always runs 1,500 to 2,000 years ahead of science. And so I'll share with you another note. So there's at least three that I have found in his reference Bible that addresses this issue. And I'll give you Revelation 7, verse 1, uh, where it talks about the four corners of the earth. Well, the note says, The apostate scholars try to accuse the Bible of being unscientific and teaching the silly superstition of a flat earth with four corners. The Bible very clearly teaches a round earth. See notes on Isaiah 40, 22, Luke 17, 34. The phrase is obviously an idiomatic expression for the four basic directions, north, south, east, and west. I used to see Marine recruiting posters in the 1950s to 1970s saying the same thing. Marines are serving Uncle Sam in the four corners of the earth. The Bible is written in plain language, understandable in any age by anybody, not just in some highly technical jargon that requires a college education. Never mind the scholars, they're just educated beyond their intelligence. But notice he said, the silly superstition of a flat earth. That's what Dr. Ruckman had to say about the matter. He's not the authority, the Bible's the authority. The point I'm making is this, here was a man who believed the King James Bible and spent most of his life teaching and preaching the King James Bible. He was a brilliant man, wrote many books, did so much studies on so many things, and um, yet these yeah, people stand up saying, well, if you believe the King James Bible, then you'll understand it teaches a flat earth. How come he never saw it? And again, I've never seen it. I've read it and read it and read it and studied it. I've taught in Genesis. Uh, you know, it's not there. So I just want to say this. It's a problem because of several reasons. To sum it up, to sum it up, it is a, um, it's a distraction. You think about these people that are enamored with this. They, they spend a lot of time on it. And, and, and they're wasting a lot of time on it, and they're very distracted from the real work of the ministry uh, by this issue. And the real work of the ministry is stated in 1 Timothy 2, 4, that God will have all men to be saved and come into knowledge of the truth. We need to be focused on preaching the gospel, the grace of God, that Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again. We're saved by grace through faith in his finished work. And all who trust in the Lord Jesus Christ are baptized by the Holy Spirit to the body of Christ. And people need to come unto the knowledge of the truth of who they are in Christ. And uh, you don't find the Apostle Paul addressing the shape of the earth. And we're supposed to be following his example in the ministry. So it's a distraction. And it causes division. There are people that used to support our ministry that no longer do simply because I believe the earth is round. And, and it's been a source of division. And it shouldn't be that way. And then, worst of all, it is discrediting the Bible and the, and the minds of the people we're trying to reach. People going out telling people the King James Bible says the earth is flat. Well, the average person on the street has common sense and, 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 and knows that that is not the case. They don't accept that. And so when you're going around telling them that's what the Bible teaches, then they think there's a problem with the Bible. But there's not. There's a problem with the people saying that. And uh, so when you think about those three things of distracting Christians, dividing Christians, and discrediting the Bible, uh, that's the work of Satan. And I, I'm not, I, I realize, I'm sure, there are people who believe the earth is flat, and they're very sincere, and they love the Lord, and I'm not trying to attack them. But just because you're sincere and love the Lord doesn't mean you can't be used by the devil if you're not careful. Uh, this is a serious problem, and I just want to go on the record one last time 
And I'm not going to waste my time doing a whole series going through all the verses and proving it. I've done the research. I've addressed this a few other times in the past. But, you know, I just don't want to get any more of these challenges because the fact is I am a King James Bible believer. I have done my homework. I have studied the issue. And the King James Bible does not teach that the earth is flat. Thank you for watching. I hope you have